Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a healthy high protein paneer fried rice recipe. Fried rice is easy to make at home in just under 20 minutes. So let's get started with the recipe. Into a bowl add in 1 cup long grain rice and add in some water and then soak the rice for about 10 minutes. While the rice is soaking let's get the other ingredients ready. This is an easy and quick fried rice recipe. You can use any seasonal vegetables of your choice. Today I am using 2 medium sized carrots, 5 piri piri green chilies. You can also use 2 green chilies instead of piri piri chilies, 4 to 5 garlic cloves slit, a fistful of fresh beans. Beans are a good source of protein. Now instead of beans you can also use green peas. 4 sprigs of spring onion. I will be using this part to season the rice and the green part to garnish the rice. Now heat a saucepan with about 5 to 6 cups of water. Add in pink Himalayan salt as needed. Rinse the rice a couple of times and then keep it on a strainer. Chop the vegetables and then keep it aside. I am using 100 grams of paneer which I have rinsed under running water and kept it on a strainer. Once the water starts to boil, reduce the flame to the lowest and then add in the rinsed and strained rice. Give it a stir and allow the water to come to a boil. It should take about 5 to 7 minutes to get the rice 3 fourth cooked. Once the rice is 3 fourth cooked, strain the rice and keep it on a strainer. Heat a wide pan and add in 1 tablespoon wood pressed coconut oil or you can use virgin coconut oil. Note that virgin coconut oil or wood pressed coconut oil has a very neutral taste. Once the oil is heated, add in the chopped garlic and stir well. Allow the garlic to get roasted. This will give the oil a nice garlicky flavor which will enhance the taste and flavor of the fried rice. Almost like a restaurant taste. Add in the chopped white part of the spring onion. Add in the chopped carrots, beans and stir fry on medium to high flame. I am quickly grinding some black pepper powder. Add in pink Himalayan salt as needed. Give it a stir. Add in 1 teaspoon coconut aminos. Coconut aminos is a healthier substitute to soy sauce and it does not taste like coconut. Coconut aminos is soy, wheat and gluten free making it a healthier alternative to soy sauce for those with certain allergies or food sensitivities. It also has less sodium content and has a milder and sweeter flavor than soy sauce. However, you can also use soy sauce instead in this recipe. Coconut aminos has a slight sweet flavor. Hence, I am using 1 to 1 and a half teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper powder. Reduce black pepper powder according to your taste if using soy sauce. Add in 100 grams of paneer for that extra protein. Stir well for about a minute or so. Meanwhile, chop up the green part of the spring onion and keep aside. Once the vegetables are 3 fourth cooked and the paneer is nicely coated with the spices, add in the cooked and strained rice. Stir well, taking care not to break the rice. Add in 1 tablespoon homemade coconut vinegar or you can use apple cider vinegar but make sure you use the apple cider vinegar which has the mother. And again I am adding in a little extra black pepper powder. So add just black pepper powder to suit your taste. And lastly sprinkle in the chopped spring onion greens and mix well. You can see that the rice is non-sticky. Healthy paneer fried rice is ready to serve. Serve to a bowl and enjoy this healthy homemade fried rice and let me know how it turned out. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with family and friends. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.